story is set in Shanghai during the booming 1930s. Foreigners knew the city as the gateway to China and the Paris of the East. It was the place where Chinese people first embraced the modernism of the West and adapted their traditional values and customs to the new century of global exchange. It was a colorful and vibrant period of great prosperity and opportunity that must have seemed like it could have gone on forever. People thrived. The wealthy built glorious mansions and imported foreign cars. Everybody was exposed to a new aesthetic, and some happily embraced the new ideas from the West, enjoying movies, makeup, fashion, and music, such as jazz. I wanted Fung to be placed at the center of this period of change, experiencing her own transformation in parallel to that occurring in the country, but particularly in Shanghai. Forced into a new life, she is easily intimidated and endures considerable harm. But as time passes and she adjusts, she does eventually find pleasure in the excitement of her new world. But it is short-lived, as violence spreads across the country, in a war that leaves it at the mercy of a cruel Japanese occupation. At the end of the war, people in Shanghai tried to resume life as it had been, but many across the country, who had not been so fortunate. Demanded complete change. The nation was pulled in many directions, and the forces pushing for revolution ultimately overpowered any opposition. Fung is again required to adapt, but this time change is profound, and she realizes the truth that she, like so many others, has always been overwhelmed by forces far greater than her own will.